What the heck is a Final Cut Pro library template? Well, we're gonna spend some time in the edit bay today to go over it. If you're watching this video, maybe you're feeling some pain about the process of creating a new Final Cut Pro library and or keeping your Final Cut Pro library organized. All of the media, the stills, the graphics, the video files, the audio, all of that stuff. Maybe you're just dumping it into a single event and everything's a big mess and you're tired of creating events and folders and smart collections and keyword collections and all this stuff. Every time you start a project, you just want someone to help you make it simple. Well, you're in the right place because I have a Final Cut Pro library template that should take a lot of that pain away and I'm gonna show you how I use it. But the key takeaway from this video is if you have felt pain and frustration from being disorganized and how long it takes you to go from you got done shooting and you wanna start editing, but that middle process of importing your media, creating all this organization, building your Final Cut Pro library templates, if that tedious, boring, frustrating part is really keeping you down and slowing you down from creating videos, I want this video to help show you that there's a way to make that process a lot easier and take up a lot less time. So every time I sit down and start a new project, I create a new folder. I'm gonna call it 242-2023-8 Final Cut Pro Library Template. And this is basically simulating that I'm creating a video about Final Cut Pro Library Templates, which I'm doing right now. And then what I do is I copy my Finder template. I'll link to a video in the description all about my Finder folder templates if you haven't watched it already to show you how to get organized in Finder with all of your media. So I copy and paste all this over here into this. And then in this project files folder under FCPX, I've got a Final Cut Pro library template. I also have one right here in case I just need to grab that library template. So let's double click this and take a look at what it is. You're gonna see a little warning here that you need to update the library. I keep my Final Cut Pro library template that I sell on my website compatible with older versions of Final Cut Pro so that people who aren't using the latest and greatest version of Final Cut Pro can enjoy the benefits of having a Final Cut Pro library template. So when I open this, I need to hit update and it's gonna update the library. And you're gonna see it's got the library here called Final Cut Pro library template. And it has all of these events in here that correspond to how I store my media in Finder. You can see audio content, film graphics, screen recording, and stills. And you can see these all here with different um, numbers in front of them so that Final Cut Pro keeps them in order. And if we carrot these down, you can see I've got all kinds of stuff inside these different events. Some smart collections, some keyword collections, some folders all kinds of stuff in here that allows me to get started with an edit as quickly as possible. So think to yourself, when you start a Final Cut Pro library, maybe you create a new library. Now when you create that new library, let's just dump it here someplace uh, that's easy. We'll put it in the movies folder. And when you put that in, you've got this blank event, and then you got to rename it to, let's say, a video, and then you got to create a new event. Uh, and then call that audio, and then option N to create a new event, and we're gonna call this graphics. You know, you've gotta create all this organization. Maybe you're not using events to separate your media, maybe you're using folders, keyword collections, whatever it is you're doing. You gotta make all this stuff every time you start a project. Well, it's a lot of time wasted, and honestly, it's a part of the process that gets me kind of unmotivated to getting started on a new video because it's tedious, it's time consuming, and it's inefficient. If we use a Final Cut Pro library template, that organization is already there and you can take advantage of having these places to put all of your footage, audio, graphics, stills, whatever it is that you're using to make a video. And this to me is a huge time saver. Now I've got a few videos on my channel, past videos about the Final Cut Pro library template. I'm going to link those in the description. I also have some live streams where I live edit a video and I go through the process of setting up an edit with my Final Cut Pro library template. I'm not going to go in depth on that here, but you can catch those videos down in the description and watch the process of me setting up the Final Cut Pro library template to begin an edit. Now, if you're watching this, you're going, oh my gosh, this would be so helpful to my workflow. How do I get this? I sell this on my website, matthewobrien.co forward slash shop. It's $10 for the Final Cut Pro template, and it's $10 for my Finder folder template, which again, I'll have a video all about that link down in the description. I also sell a bundle that has a Final Cut Pro library template for shorts, for regular videos, and the Finder template 
all of those together for $25. So you save a little bit by buying the bundle. I've been using this system for years and it's been great. And you're just overall happier to get projects started. So I highly recommend checking this out. And if this, you know, if seeing all this inspires you to create your own Final Cut Pro library template and not buy mine, go for it. All I care about is that you're getting organized, you're taking the frustration out of content creation, filmmaking, client work, whatever it is that you're doing. That to me is the mission. That's what I want with my channel. Take away all this friction and pain in your workflows so that you can get to the fun part, which is making videos and chopping broccoli. Am I right? I almost forgot there's one other way that you can get access to my Final Cut Pro library template and my Finder template. You can become a member of my YouTube channel. Just go to the member page on my channel. And there's a couple of tiers that get you access to these templates as part of your monthly subscription. So if you're interested in becoming a member, definitely check it out. There's a bunch of membership perks, including access to my Discord server for some membership tiers. So give that a look and see if a membership is a better fit for you than just buying these outright through my website. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. I respond to almost every comment that people put on my videos, or I at least try to. So hit me up in the comments if you have any additional questions. That's all I've got for this one. Until the next one, I'll see y'all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.